So we're at the airport in Billings, Montana. We've landed and uh, I was just gonna show y'all the amount of luggage it takes to do a, a hunting slash tourist trip with your wife. Uh, had to have a cart. First time in my life I've ever had to have a cart at an airport. So we're gonna get this loaded up and get out of this blowing snow and uh, try to get to the ranch. So we're pulling up here at Trappies West, right off the interstate. We have to go across the cattle gap on the exit ramp from the interstate to get here. But uh, we're gonna pull up here to the lodge, and get out, and see what's going on in here. set up and these turkeys are absolutely gobbling their brains out there's got to be four or five of them over there gobbling and she will finish my one <laughs> three, Two more shutters back there. Well, it is cold in Montana this morning. Uh, we were hunting this morning right here on the banks of the Yellowstone River, and uh, we were covered up with turkeys and uh, saw a million geese and ducks, and even had a uh, rooster feather that walked right up by the blind, got visited by a deer who went rodeo in the middle of the field and a couple of red squirrels, but uh, couldn't make it happen this morning. We're gonna go get some late breakfast and we'll come back and try them this afternoon. She's gonna be a damn showgirl out here with us trying to the turkey hunt. Early morning, 4.45 on day two. Big frost on the ground, 26 degrees, and we're going running and gunning. See y'all in a bit. There was her. So the sun's about to come up. I don't know if y'all can see any trees right there. But those two trees right there are slap full of turkeys that have been gobbling their brains out as we were walking in for the last 15 minutes. There, I hope you heard that. This may be the most vocal aliens I've ever encountered in the turkey woods. There's turkeys inside that cow pen. Thank 
to the left. Out in field, yeah, and there's one more coming up there. Oh, he's there coming up this way. Oh, uh, he's wearing nothing. I don't have a turkey fat on her hand. Are you sure? I don't think he ran past him. He, don't, he must be a drake. He said, sorry, sir, I'm leaving. Looks like he's going to be with two more hands to slow down over there to the left. Yeah. The way these hands are going at it, I don't even know if Jim could keep up with him. Bigger too. Mm -hmm. He's coming. He's looking for a fight. Here we go, we're fixing the double. Hey, can you take this camera? Oh, coming up here. Shooting for the hands. I know.
must start going crazy if his infant hands were running at me. Yes. They didn't like that last flop. Okay. Hey, we've got one Marion turkey on the ground. Yes, Look at that. That, that, that thing misfired. Look at there, you hit it. Yes. The primer did not go off on it. Two Bishop, what you think about that? That's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna happen, and then I'm gonna burn. And we still got the facility couldn't handle it. Yeah. We had. Not only did we. She had. This. She fired her gun. Two shells. The shield misfired. You can see the primer. Yeah. It's they good. ejected that one out. She went to shoot him again. That well, shell misfired. Yeah. She ejected that one out. All with this bird about eight yards from us around this decoy right here. I don't think he did. And she finally got a shell to shoot. That was just incredible. Awesome, awesome hunt. Thank you, Lord. Well, don't fall down, Terry. Let's walk down here and check out to see what Miss Sheila's Miriam looks like. Beautiful white feather. Mm. Look at those white, nice, nice beard. Look at the white. Oh wow! Because sometimes we shoot them with they're more gold. Uh -huh. You're pretty. That's pretty white. What kind of hooks we got on that bird? Not much. They big fat ones. Yeah, they might. That's a good bird. Chilly head. Okay. Nice beard. Right here. Try to put one of the little sneak on some birds. We uh, tried it a few minutes ago and they pulled a disappearing act on it. So what happened is, we don't have video of this kill. I, we may have the sound of a shotgun in the back of my head, but we were trying to put the Waddell sneak on some birds and they snuck up on us. Uh, Terry had the fan, Gobbler started to come to the fan. He decided he wasn't gonna do that and turn right to go. Never even saw a beard. Ended up being a tank of a bird. We're done in Montana. It's time. That's awesome. You got the beard in there? Yeah. <laughs> 